everyone of, of you are telling this. <clears throat> what do you mean by leadership? Once Ralph C. Smedley said, the capacity to look ahead, to think ahead, to plan ahead, and to influence people to go ahead with your plan is the meaning of leadership. We in Toastmasters learn leadership skills through a structured program scripted in this manual called Competent Leadership Manual. Today, I shall risk myself to say that most of the Toastmasters do not approach this manual correctly to get the maximum benefit out of it. What we usually do is something like this. Toastmaster XYZ feels that a timer's role or a counter's role is relatively cool one, easy. So let me take that. So what he does, he posts a thumb of either white or yellow or brown according to his choice, directing towards VPN. Please give me this role for the next meeting. And Vicky Ayad is a very generous big person. <laughs> <laughs> and he immediately grants it. Great, done. So, what happens? Postmaster feels very happy. <coughs> Prepares the role from a standard PDF file. Time and again, comes to the meeting and delivers his role deliciously well to his own satisfaction and after that then start searching where in my role fits in the CL map <laughs> at times getting disappointed dejected that it does not fit anywhere taking nothing back with him or her. So, what is the correct approach to use this CL manual? I shall be giving you four important tips how to go through it. Number one, plan your competent leadership assignment before you take up a role. I'm sure every one of us do this for our speaking assignments. Once we complete our icebreaker speech, we are ready and we look, what is the pro project for CC2? Huh, this is this. We read our CC manual. But what about CL manual? What is the last time you have read your CL manual? Can, can anybody tell me? What is the last time you have read your CL manual? So, if you like to take a tabletopic master role, under which project it comes? No. It comes under project 5, planning and implementation. So, if you do not know what is the project, how you are going to develop your leadership skills based on this project, it's a learning skill. You are going to implement your objectives of your table topic master's role based on this project and then only you can learn. See, a single role like that of general evaluators has been given in multiple projects.
general evaluator for projection is facilitation facilitation develop your facilitation skills is entirely different for projects 3 that is giving feedback so if you just come prepared for general evaluator's role you will not be able to learn the project for which you are doing so before going into the roles asking for the roles from the bp ahead you have to see which project you are attempting and you have to tell your bp ahead that i am trying to project prepare for the project 3 or project 2 evaluate and i am going to speech with a speech evaluator project followed by role number 2 how many projects and how many roles to complete your cc manual can anybody tell me how many projects and how many roles yes 10 yes 10 projects and how many roles is around 21 to 22 roles 10 projects 21 to 22 roles so if i take something like say we have four meetings in a month so if uh, by six or seven months with two or three absenteeism we should be finishing our cl manual by six or seven months am i right is it it is not it is not because there is a project called project 9 and which is a great difficulty I am telling you because this project 9 is about mentoring once you have you have to complete your CC3 to become a mentor and then your mentee has to complete another three speeches that is CC3 to complete your project 9 so the CC and CL manual has to go hand in hand. You cannot just take up rolls after rolls and not doing your icebreakers. It cannot happen like that. It has to, you have to be a both leader as well as a good communicator. Mm. Number three is reward and review. You have to reward and review from your mentor as well as other postmasters you have to take the feedback so leadership is not about title or designation a leader is one who knows the way who goes the way who shows the way I see a leader in each one of you learn more and inspire others to dream more thank you